Good morning, everyone. Here we are on this beautiful beach. Uh, this is actually in Rockport. Very beautiful light this morning on this beach. So, so sketch it out. You know, take your time doing that wave. That wave. It's a very delicate painting. A very high key. Uh, we'll start with the iridium yellow in the sky. A little wash of uh, rose on top of it. Let it come down. Uh, get that nice orangey glow. Cobalt blue on top of that, and let that come down. You can see it comes down beautifully. All right, I'm using cobalt blue teal, maybe a little drop of Windsor blue on the very back of the ocean, just at the horizon, and bring that down to uh, the top of the wave. Don't lose that white in the wave. It's very important that you don't lose that white, okay? Stay on top of that wave. This is your first blush on that water. We'll go back and put some waves in it, but we want to get some color in it first. Okay, uh, I got some drips going into my wave, so I will take a towel and just clean up the edge of my wave. Push it into the splash. If you have, you know, if you want to get a splash there, just push it up into that splash. Clean it up. All right. All right, I'm gonna go in and paint the shadow side of the wave. That's a little uh, cobalt blue, tiny bit of rose, maybe a tiny drop of uh, raw sienna, just to gray it down a little bit. Uh, so it's a blue, you can see me dropping that cobalt blue in there. Stay away from the very tip where you see the white. Uh, those values are very, very close. Uh, I, I think what I'm going to do here is make this uh, a different wave. It's same same wave, but I'm going to drop some green into it and have it a breaking wave and, instead of just all, all uh, foam and surf coming over. I think the green will make it, make it look uh, stronger, give me a better painting. So you can do what you like. I, I'm, I'm going to turn it into a green wave. Uh, you can leave it blue if you want. A uh, little bit of the rose here. This is a mix. I'm going to mix that with the green to get a, a nice shadow on that breaking wave. I'll go back to that. All right, a little, little bit of the same cobalt blue ultra mixed with a tiny bit of the rose. This is the bottom of the wave as it's breaking on top of the flat surface of the water. Okay, so you paint this, forget about the rocks all together. Don't try to paint around the rocks because the rocks are so dark and warm, uh, it's gonna cover everything. So you just forget that even there, you know, give yourself a break and be free, paint freely. This is the flat water in front of the wave uh, breaking. Okay, comes down. There's another little wave here on the left. And then we have this big uh, spread of uh, wet surface, really. It's just part of the wave that broke and is washing back in. And it's very light, cobalt blue teal, tiny bit of, uh, a tiny bit of phthalo green. And in front of that, we have another wave that's breaking into that. I added a touch of yellow here, just a little touch to get a little glow on it and a little bit of rose and now I'm just going to go in with the you know with the greenish blue on top of it but you'll see we'll we'll wipe a lot of this down with a dry brush we want to we want to get a nice reflection on this color here so these are the, the you know the shoreline uh, surf washing back into the waves okay so paint the shape first Okay, forget about the rocks, just, you know, forget the even there, just paint into, into them and 
All right. Now I'll take a, a damp brush, and what I'm doing here is just uh, lifting off part of the color there so that we can get a nice reflection. So it looks like there's, you know, that light is really hitting those waves bouncing back. And we'll put some, you know, we'll put a few ripples in there and a few hard, you know, edge, darker edges on these waves as they turn back in. But yeah, I'm taking my towel and putting a kind of a highlight. You can see they're just washing right back in. All right, this is the sand, okay? The sand is raw sienna and rose that gives you an orangey color okay then feed the cobalt blue into it until you get the color you want it, and you can see it's much darker towards the water the water's wetting that sand so it's much darker and then it gets more uh, more of a violet color as it moves away from it and dries you know it begins begins to drain off and drain down so it's darker towards the towards the water and then up up uh, away from the water it's that's it, that looks almost brown but but it's a rosy color you know rose raw sienna cobalt blue just those mixes you can play with them back and forth and get beautiful color of sand the more blue you put in the grave it's going to get the cooler it's going to get you know, the more muddy it looks, so. All right, so this is wet down here as it gets into near the water. Keep that edge going. Cooler at closer to the water where it's wetter. So you get a little mound there. And right, I'm just using a little of the blue uh, this is ultra, this is cobalt blue with a little touch of rose, a green, you know, bringing it down to a grayish blue. That's the edge of the first wave that's breaking there, and the, you can see the wet surface is washing back into that. So we want to get some ripples in there, some some little turns on the edge. Just working these these ripples right now. You know, just keep keep going with them until you're happy. Forget about the rocks, like they're not even there. That will really free you up and, and you know help you and not be tense with it. You know, enjoy it. Just little little ripple here, a little ripple there. A little stronger here. That's at the bottom of, there's a little wave on the left there, and that's at the bottom of that little wave. We have a few little ripples in, inside this. What we want to do is to create the movement. You know, there's a lot of movement in the water, and that's what's so nice, you know, really, really nice to, to get that water moving. And all these little marks make that happen. Traces of movement on that small wave. And I'm just going to go back into the horizon line there and um, same color uh, blue with a touch, uh, that's cobalt blue teal with a touch of phthalo blue. And I'm just, you know, making a, a, a darker mark there and then spreading it out right along the horizon, leaving a few lightest spots. It's not all the same, you know, notice that all the way across. All right, I'm restating some of this dark green in the wave. You can see how strong that is compared to the way it was in the photo. You know, the photo was just a shadow on the white. The green makes it much stronger, much more interesting uh, wave. All right, here comes the big red rocks. These rocks are very, very warm, so 
I'm starting with this is uh, this is a Sienna, uh, Quint Acridone Sienna. And what I'm going to do here is just paint. I just want to show you how simple this is. Uh, this may be a little bit stark for it, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Um, just painting the shapes of the rocks and just paint the whole thing. The water's all dry now, so you don't want any runs there yet, you know. Okay, so I just painted the whole shape of the rocks. There's still some smaller ones that I've left out. And then I'm going over it. This is, I just added uh, ultramarine blue to the mix of Quincyana. And I'm going over that now, letting them run together. And the reason I put that red on first was so that I get a nice underpainting, a nice warm, strong underpainting of warm color. Okay, and now uh, once I, I put that towel there just for drips. All right, so I'm taking my credit card and scraping it. All right, so you wonder why does he put the dark on if he's going to take it off? Because <laughs> I want the dark to settle into some of the crevices on the paper, on the texture of that paper. I want that nice dark color, but I also want the warm color underneath too. So I'm just, just taking that off and I will go back into it. taking all the you know the highlights off you don't you don't have to take every drop off but you just want to you know get a sense of nice light on these rocks very very warm color okay now once you do that you can go back in and repaint you know the set the dark sections of these rocks thinking about the light, showing the light on the rocks. And just look at it, enjoy it, and feel a sense of warm light on these rocks. You know, it's just wonderful. They're so stark next to that uh, light green uh, water, you know. But the light is so strong and the light is so warm, you know, the pink of the sky is really setting a, a whole key for this painting. Little, little rivets on the edge. So study out the photo. Look at those rocks, you know. You can really bring them down. I'm going to add a couple of more smaller ones here and there. Okay. Small one in front of that one. Little one just under that wave. Okay, we're just about done here. Uh, I'm gonna use just a tiny bit of uh, wash on the wave, just whenever, just to show you, you know, whenever you want to use that, don't be afraid to. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a fun painting to do. Thanks for joining me and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.